12 faults for Vanella Maxwell. That puts her out of the running. Piss. <laughs> Piss Ed, more likely. Say what? Sod it. You can't win them all. You have also split your britches. <laughs> come on, come on. It's all right, Jake. None of the selectors are here. It's okay, I'll deal with them. Come on. I want to work with you. I want to know why you still haven't jumped. And you're not going to until Nylands. Nope. Then I'll go to Badgeworth, Windsor, Hickstead and Aachen. Well, if you're invited. Aren't you cutting it a little fine to stand a realistic chance of selection? The on D is that you were ready to jump a month ago. I was ready to jump. I just wasn't ready to compete. All right, Jake. Isn't it time you put all this on the back burner? I know what it's all about. Billy told me when he was still drinking. Just take my word for it, because I know all revenge does is to make you even. I wasted years of my life trying to get even with a drunk driver who killed my daughter. I just wish I'd known earlier that the honorable revenge is the one you don't take. Well, that's the second chance you've trashed this afternoon. Yeah. It's easy from the ground, isn't it? I'd like to see how you do and you get back up. If you do get back up, you know what? Some people say you've bottled out. You know something, Fen? If you're going to go to pieces every time some man walks out on you, I you might as well pack it in now. You know, with your talent, you could win an Olympic gold. I mean it. Are you going to throw it all away? All the hard work you've done, we've done, your horse has done, just because some boy's ditched you? Well, maybe Gee knew what he was doing. Has that ever occurred to you? Huh? Maybe the real reason you haven't heard from him is because he sensed the sort of person you really are. You're spoilt, stubborn, and selfish. Who only thinks of herself, never of her teammates. And just because someone once screwed her up, and because of all of this bullshit, everybody else could just go to hell. I mean, nobody else matters, do they, Ben? Nobody. You can't see beyond the end of your own nose. And all because of something that someone once did to you. So there's our winner by nearly two seconds, Rupert Campbell Black. Go to the top of the form, Rupert. Right. In fact, on the strength of that, I might skip Badgeworth, Windsor. Keep him fresh for Hickstead. Not because of his shins. Yeah. Any idea what she's doing here? There he is. Colonel Gordon? Melise, you know what you were saying in the canteen? You were absolutely right. Jesus, I've been such a fool. So, maybe, could you, could you act as an arbiter? You know, go between. Hello, Jake. Remember me? <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you. Oh, you don't mind, do you? Actually, I do. I'm trying to have a private word with Melise. Oh, no, this won't take a minute. I'm sure the boss won't mind. I'd just like your views on something, on a rather lovely rumour that's going around about you and Helen Campbell Black. You've been seeing quite a bit of each other, I understand, on the QT, in and out of hospital. I don't know what you're talking about. Jake! Now, for the wronged husband. Can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this. Well done. Congratulations. I should imagine you're enjoying every single moment of this. What on earth are you talking about? I'm just doing my job.
answer it. No! Don't say the goddamn papers again! Come on, pick up the bloody phone. I, could you get my keys in the kitchen? Please, quickly. Tori's gone. She's taking the kids. Well, you can't say I didn't warn you. Rift reported in Olympic equestrian camp. Even mentioned in the Times. I don't know what you thought you were doing with half the county to choose from. Selectors face difficult decision. With half the county to choose from, you had to end up marrying a stable boy. Hmm. Burned his boats, I'm afraid. Your chap burned his boats completely. Ruva Campbell Black said he had very little to add to the statement he made yesterday, except to repeat that he felt sure that this was simply a marital hiccup, that he still loved his wife, and that he missed her very much. Well, at least there's no more of that stuff about you casting a spell on me and drugging me with Romney love potions. You hungry? Yes. Good. I'll go and get some pizza and some beer. How about a bottle of wine? <sighs> oh boy. I sure as hell hope I'm doing the right thing. Well, under normal circumstances, William, I would be only more than happy to ditch the stupid cow. My circumstances aren't exactly normal. Rupert Campbell Black, MP, is going to need a lot of funding. And Helen's father has a lot of funds. So how are you going to play it? 
Oh, I think I'll just leave her alone, don't you? Helen likes a good life. I can't really see her slumming it in some boring little rental with peg leg, can you? <laughs> 